the Spitfire, perhaps the world's most iconic flying machine. The whine of the Merlin engine, the slender wings arcing through the sky, for many, it's a symbol of freedom. Today, we're celebrating our freedom to fly and visiting a very special Spitfire. It's all about the people, planes, and places to fly in this awesome province we get to fly in. This is going to be the first episode. Uh, we've filmed a few things previously. They're going to come out next. It's always good to have a mission when you're flying. And today we have a good one. We're going to Kelowna. We're going to go see the Silver Spitfire. The Silver Spitfire is on its way around the world. It started in England, came across Greenland, down through the States, now up through BC, and then it's going to Russia and beyond and the Kelowna Flying Club has managed to convince them to come. So we're off there, it's an hour and 40 minutes. We'll see you on the ground in Kelowna. Well, the, the, there's an amazing amount of interest here, and, um, and you guys have reached out to us and said, come and, come and see us. And I'm very, very glad we did, because it's quite fantastic to see such interest in the Spitfire. My name's Steve Brooks. I'm one of the Spitfire pilots in the, uh, the longest flight. So our goal is to inspire people about flight by taking this original 1943 Spitfire that flew 51 times in the war. It's been completely rebuilt and the goal is to take it right round the world. It flew in, in, we're going to 30 countries and this flew in 26 of them. Uh, but more to the point, it is the most beautiful plane that was ever built. And it stood for freedom of people. It stood for standing up against uh, uh, thugs. And, and it stood for, for just daring to have a go and daring to be. And that's what the message is all about, really. Dare to have a go. Go and find yourself a plane, find yourself a car, whatever interests you, and go and do it and get out there. It's a total freedom being up there in the wonderful skies of Earth and going and seeing the planet we live on, seeing the vastness of the planet we live on. It's fantastic. This has been by far the, the biggest reception we've had. And, and really special. People really get it. The Canadians are so into aviation, it's fantastic. With her guns removed and polished aluminum, her beauty is on full display. It's the epitome of, if it looks right, it'll fly right. This Mark 9 Spitfire is one of the most original Spitfires in the world. Delivered in 1944, MJ-271 flew 51 combat missions, including a stint with the 401 Squadron of the Royal Canadian Air Force, which still exists today flying CF-18s out of Cold Lake, Alberta. 
With half a world still in front of them, it was soon time for the Silver Spitfire to be on its way, gracing us with their presence for just a few short hours. without one last goodbye.